Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel Kono Pro. In this video, it's going to be me going over some tips on how to install some roof rafters solo. Okay, if you go back on one of my existing videos, um, you can see, you know, how to install roof rafters, tells you how to, you know, make the cuts and whatever. This is just going to be more of a, a sort of to give you a couple tips on how to do it by yourself. Okay, so if you just sit back and watch the video, there's some time lapse. And if you just get a visual and you can see basically how I do it all, I'm doing it all solo. Um, I had some people that could give me a hand, but I had them on some other projects. So I decided to shoot this video and do it solo and just, you know, give some people, you know, basically some different ideas on how to do it. Like for instance, you see how I had the pre, I basically cut my, my rafter, I pre-cut my rafter and then I set it up on that exterior wall first and then I walked it up on that ladder and now I'm about to nail it to my ridge. All right, and that's basically what I'm going to be doing in this video throughout. So just check it out. Enjoy. Remember, subscribe and like, and we appreciate you all, everybody, and be proud of your work. Quick tip, everybody. Before you start hanging all your rafters, make sure you make one. It's your template and you're gonna measure it, have all your, you're gonna have your uh, ridge cut, your plumb level ridge cut, then you're gonna have your bird's mouth cut and then you're gonna dry fit it basically all the way through, all the way from one side of the ridge, all the way to the other side, even flip it to the other side of the gable to make sure that it's a good rafter. And if it works for basically everything, and there's a, if there's a little bit of variances, like you know, a little differences and some measurements here and there, then you can cut them all a little strong and then you can cut them as, as you're going along. But that way you can, cut a bunch of them and then have them ready to go. We're also measuring out 11 inches on the end of our rafter tail and then we're giving a plumb level cut right there with our skill saw to give it a 12 inch eave once our face is installed. And you see there how my skill saw up. I have this side, the right side gable is about 3 8 inch um, shorter than my left side gable, which is fine. And then, uh, so I just bring my rafters up, pre-cut to the other side, and I bring my skill saw up and I fit them all, you know, basically per 16 inches. So it's all nice and it looks great and your framing's tight. roof rafters basically you know hung well half of them anyways but hope that gave you a little bit of insight on how to install some roof rafters solo um, you saw how we did it we had all our roof rafters basically pre-cut and then we uh, you know put it up on the exterior wall and then we walk it up the ladder to that center ridge and tacked it in yeah there it is I love doing framing like this you know, and it's 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 one thing to do it solo, but always work with safety. And I always recommend having someone around, no matter what, to make sure that you're safe and uh, be careful doing any work like this. But please remember to subscribe and like, and share us with your social media. And you know, these videos. When I do these videos, there there are a lot of them are visual because I'm very visual. When I watch things and I already have the skill that I have and then I watch something and then I think, oh, there it is, bam. And then I sort of develop my own way to take care of the project and it's awesome. It helps me out a lot. You see right there, I have all my roof rafters leaned up against that patio cover. That's where I'm making my cuts. And um, yeah, we did this. We appreciate you all. Again, subscribe, like. We'll check you on the next one. Kono Pro out. Peace.